Hey guys, this is Mama Made. This is my CVS couponing haul for the week of March 3rd through the 9th, 2019. So, surprise, guess what printed for me today? <laughs> so I actually, thanks to a few of you guys, you told me that they don't print anything if you have too much loaded to your card. So this morning, instead of just loading everything to my card, I just loaded the coupons that I knew that I was going to use for sure this week. So somehow I magically got CRTs now, but I'm still not getting the instant coupons that are advertising for everyone. So I did find somebody left like all their coupons, which ugh, I can't believe people do that. But I saw a big stack of coupons. So I found the instant coupons that I was going to um, have them scan them. I know they say they're only for specific cards, but since they're printing for everyone, I'm wondering if it's the same code. So I was going to try it, but I chickened out and I just put them back and did it. So um, yeah, I'm still not getting the, one, the coupons that they're advertising, but at least I can get the ones printing out of the machine. But I real the main reason I want that is I want this instant coupon. So. I don't know what in the world. I don't know what I did. I don't know how I can get them back, but okay. So a little update on that. And this is, I only stopped at CVS and bought, I did stop at Walgreens because I saw on Instagram, they're having like 90% clearance sale on baby items. So if you have a baby and the baby's on the table sitting over here, so he's shaking my stuff. So um, yeah, if you want to check out Walgreens, if it's not in, out of your way, I would go ahead and check it out. Everything was wiped clean in my store, so there was nothing exciting left for me to share with you guys. Um, and then, right, Aid, the only thing worth stopping, there's some free hair masks, I think it is, which I didn't find out until after I got home and saw it on Instagram. There is some free candy, but I was going to make an extra stop just for some free candy. So, all right, so let's go ahead and get started here. So, the Valentine's Day... The clearance, um, the candy is at 75% and the, uh, the regular like Valentine's Day stuff, there's like barely anything left is 90%, but I didn't see anything that I was even interested in at all. Um, I will have a video coming up soon. I'm probably going to do some cupcakes using the, these in the springtime, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so I, I feel like I do this deal every time this Garnier comes out and I have the right CRTs. For some reason, the Garnier C CRTs often stack for me. So they are buy two, get back five. I picked up the Moisture Balm at, Balm at $16.99 and these little micellar iPads at $8.99. That makes it $25.98, I believe. So I use the $3 off for this that's in the Retail Me Not. On Sunday and the two dollar off in the retail may not. I had a 10 off of 25 any Garnier skincare CVS coupon loaded to my card. I also had the 5 off 22 facial CVS coupon that came off. I wasn't expecting that one to come off but it did. I had the 4 off of 15 Garnier loaded to card coupon. That one didn't come off so I kind of thought that one would work and the Garnier 10 off 25. I'm trying to figure out how they stack together um, sometimes and sometimes they don't I don't know I'm still trying to figure it out I can't I don't see the reasoning yet so anyway that made those 98 cents for both of them <clears throat> but I will get back $2.59 towards beauty so that right there is a little bit of a money maker all right I had to pick up the toy <laughs> okay so let's talk about this this is not good so the physician's formula is spend 15, get back 10. I did get the extra care about that. However, I had a four off of 15 and a CVS cosmetic um, coupon that was loaded to my card and that didn't come off. So I was expecting that to come off and to only pay like uh, in the end $1.79 but get back $1.57 in beauty. So um, I'm gonna call CVS about that because $4, I'm not paying $4 for this. And when you pay with extra care bucks, you can't return stuff. Um, Cause I only end up with all the extra care bucks. I paid like 10 cents or something for this and they're mine, but I really didn't. So it's not worth returning things if you pay an extra care bucks cause you will barely get anything back. Okay, the Sure or the Brute is $2, get back a dollar. That's a limit of one. Now they were advertising for a dollar off in the smart source. 
My instruments had $1.50 off coupon, so that was exciting. So that was a 50 cent money maker. Um, now this hair care deal didn't turn out good either. <laughs> Gosh, it was just one of those days. Um, anyway, so the whole blends are two for seven. We get back a dollar from Saving Star. I use a four off two from the Retail Me Not three three, making those two dollars or a dollar a piece. Get back seventy cents in beauty. So a dollar thirty for both of them. It's not bad, but uh, I don't need them. So yeah, it kind of is. Um, however. Uh, let me just finish the deal and I'll tell you what I was going to say. And the L'Oreal Ever Pure is two for 15, get back five. I had two $2 loaded car coupons. One of them expired yesterday and the other one was new. So I used both of those. I had a four off of 15 L'Oreal CVS coupon loaded to my card. That didn't come off. So that's weird. I thought that, that, I thought that would come off for that. And that maybe I get the four off of 18. Well, that's not how it worked. The 4 off of 18 came off, and the 4 off of 15 didn't. So, <clears throat> anyway, so those were $2, or a dollar each. I'll give back a dollar fifty in beauty. So, I mean, I paid for them, but, you know, it's a good deal if that's something you want. Um, okay, so I'm done talking about the deals, so if you want to stay tuned, keep listening. I'm going to talk more about the selling products. So I did a video the other day on, uh, I sold some of my items from my stockpile. Well, at least I attempted to, and someone canceled on me and someone else was a no-show. So, I have somebody purchasing almost everything for $20, and then someone bought selected items yesterday for me for $8. So I ended up making, well, she's meeting me on Tuesday. So once that gets paid for, I'll make $28, and I was only asking $25 for the, all this stuff. So, you know, if, as long as that lady shows up on Tuesday, uh, I'll end up making some extra money. Now, this money is actually going to go back into couponing. I'm thinking maybe if I can start selling some things, maybe I'll do some more deals. But right now, I'm on a budget, and I just can't do all the fun deals, even if they're cheap. So, if I can do some cheap things and they turn around and make some money on them, it'll actually be fun because I get to do more deals and also add some money to our budget. So, I did, somebody messaged me and said, are those items still for sale? And I was like, well, they're pending pickup on Tuesday, but I'm, I'm going to sell these if you're interested. She's like, yes, yes, I want them. So, she's going to pay $8 for all this stuff. So, I'm making money on it. I'm happy about it. Um, so my advice really is going to be from now on, I'm not meeting anyone if it's out of my way. It's only going to be if I'm already in the area and it's going to be a time. I'm not going to leave my house to go meet somebody. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be somewhere on my way. So anyway, planning on selling those, making some money and yeah. All right guys. So that is it for today and I'll talk to you guys later.